performance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this performance of Disney's Beauty and the Beast. We're delighted to have you with us. For this performance, the Beauty and the Beast Orchestra is conducted by Amy Duran. We kindly ask your cooperation in refraining from the use of recording devices, the taking of photographs and talking during the performance, as it is distracting to both the audience and to our performers. At this time, please turn off all pagers and cellular telephones. We hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. But then, one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal... a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she had transformed into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast?
battle of the pain. We've come this far. I pray that you remain exactly as you are. This really is a case of father knowing best. And I too. You're never strange. Don't ever change. You're all I want. No Gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. 
beg your pardon. I don't mean to be rude. It's just that I, I've never seen a talking. Bless you, Monsieur. You are chilled to the bone. Come, warm yourself by the fire. No, I forbid. Lumiere is head of this household. I demand that you stop right there. Mm. Oh, not the master's chair. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Just one 
dream nearly all your life. Been scheming just one beam. Will you be a wife? Will you be some he man's property? Somewhere 
in the woods. <laughs> Harder! <laughs> oh, there the cross was up. Ow. Well, that must mean he's still out there somewhere. Right. Uh -huh. You have to take me back. Oh, no, 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 not the woods again. Well, don't you see something it must have happened to him? You have to take me back. I don't know what. I'm gonna find him myself. I was trying to be hospitable. Oh, oh Cogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what is left of our humanity? Look at us. Look at you. You always were insufferable. But every day you become a little more inflexible. A little more tightly wound. A little more ticked off. Oh, please, spare me the stupid clown. At least we are not as far gone as some of the others. You saw what happened to Michelle. She always was too vain about her looks, and that's exactly what she's become. A vanity. Little drawers, mirror of the works. Oh. And poor, poor Jean-Claude. Oh? Jean-Claude. You remember him? Not too bright, dumb as... A brick. The whole wall. Jean-Claude's a brick wall? That's him in the kitchen behind the stove. You know, he owned the house for that mealy mouth little bootlicker. I never liked him. He's always groveling at the master's feet. He's a doormat. Perfect. <laughs> it's happening faster to some of the others, but we are not far behind. Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we will all gradually become things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? So when we threw that poor old beggar woman out on her ear. No. Are we not responsible to, for helping to make him the way he is? I suppose so. I know it. I will eventually melt away. Do nothing. I only hope there will be something left of me if the monster ever breaks the spell. Hold on, old man. We've got to hold on. Hello? Is anyone here? Please, what's all that about? Can't you see that he's not well? He's what? not 
much past here. Oh, but he's an old man. He would die. He came into my home, uninvited. And now he shall suffer the consequences. Please, don't do anything. There. There's nothing you can do. No, wait, please. I said there's nothing you can do. Take me instead. No. Free to go anywhere you like, except for the West Wing. Why was in the West Wing? This woman, you were never set there. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. This is your room. I hope you will be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request!
wishes in the process, uh, circumstances being what they are, she, she is not coming. What did you say? <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> This castle, and I'm telling you to come to dinner. And I'm telling you, I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't, don't be ridiculous. Ooh. What did you say? Well, you can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like I that. I can do whatever I. It's rude. If you don't come down to dinner, then I will drag you by the hair! Oh, oh, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affection! <laughs> it's intended to be a gentleman! But why is she being so difficult? Well, she she difficult. Just why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? <laughs> because I want you to come down to dinner! So you admit you're being a bully? <laughs>
wouldn't think a little thing like that would change my feeling for you. Now you really tickled my fancy. Oh no. Oh no. Go! 
sure that's such a good idea. We can't have you know Luca poking around, you know where, if you know what I mean. Perhaps you'd like to take me? I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually, I do. <laughs> May I draw your attention to our hand painted ceiling, complete with gems, frolicking in delight amidst the nymphs and centaurs. Forgiven, cold and driven to 